Well, after our record winter snowpack, we are learning tonight how much more water still has to come down from the mountains. And it's a lot. Hydrologists preparing for high rivers and streams in Salt Lake, Davis, and Weber counties. But how much longer will it take to actually melt? Paul Nelson live near Little Cottonwood Canyon with the details there. So, Paul, how much of this snowpack still has to come down? Well, we only have around 55% of the state's total snowpack that actually has come down through the rivers and streams, according to the water watchers. And so some counties will be looking out for possible flooding into July. Also, it appears that there are some hell high elevation peaks out there that are, still have around eight feet of snow. Bill Clayton has lived along Little Cottonwood Creek for over 20 years. The highest he's ever seen it was back in June of 2010. So far, the river hasn't been a problem for him this year, but he's stocked up just in case. Yeah, we have a good supply of sandbags, and uh, we've talked to the county, and they have cleaned out some driftwood piles that are further upstream at three different locations. This is one of four areas along northern Utah that have over 100 inches of snow in nearby peaks. Utah Snow Survey Supervisor Jordan Clayton says the snow density in those spots is over 50 percent, so they still have a lot of water. We have a site at Snowbird. We also have one across the valley at, Al at the town of Alta. They both have over 100 inches still. Uh, Farmington, we have one close to the uh, uh, Farmington Peak area. That one still has over 100 inches of snow. Ben Lomond Peak still has uh, over 100 inches. So what does this mean for big and little cottonwood? Salt Lake City consulting hydrologist Brian McInerney says Big Cottonwood Creek is running at almost 400 cubic feet per second. And by Monday, levels are expected to double into low flooding stage. What that means is now we picked up the flow to the point where this channel really can't handle those flows. And we could go higher than that as we progress through the third and fourth week of May. For now, Salt Lake County Emergency Management is getting sandbags and diversion barriers ready. Director Clint Meekham says they've pre-staged bags in places where they've seen flooding problems in the past, like Sandy, Mill Creek, Cottonwood Heights, and Holiday. How are you keeping an eye out for maybe new problem areas that you're not necessarily focused on? We've never seen anything like the amount of snowpack that we have. So in general, we've been using the FEMA 100-year floodplain maps to kind of anticipate where we may have problems. And also Salt Lake County has 15 to 1,020 sandbags already filled in places that need, might need them and another half million sandbags ready to be filled if needed. Reporting live, Paul Nelson, KUTV 2 News.